चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं और बुलाते हैं हमारे सभा के प्रेसिडेंट अध्यक्ष डॉक्टर वी शंकर सर जी को डायलिसिस और उससे जुड़ी बातों के बारे में हमें जागरूक कीजिए तालियों से स्वागत कीजिए सर का पहले ही मैं आपसे क्षमा मांगता हूँ कि औपचारिक कारणों से आज की इस वक्तव्य पहले मैं अंग्रेजी भी करूँगा उसके पश्चात प्रयत्न करूँगा कि आपके साथ भी जुड़े हिंदी के माध्यम से इट गिव्स मी ग्रेट प्लेजर टू वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस प्लेसेंट एंड सॉलम फंक्शन ऑर्गेनाइज दिस इवनिंग एज पार्ट ऑफ द गोल्डन जुबली सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ श्री शन मुकानंद चेरिटेबल कम्युनिटी हेल्थ केयर सेंटर फिफ्टी ईयर्स अगो the founding fathers of our institution gave expression to their avowed belief of a healthy mind in a healthy body and unless the mind is free and the body is free from the virus of any diseases the nuances of art and fine arts can never be appreciated in giving expression to this firm belief and commitment of this institution they sowed the seeds for a community health care outreach center focused mainly on the healthcare needs and advisory roles in prevention for the members of the sabha and also the neighborhood community on the 24th of january 1974 dr rafiq zakaria the then minister for health government of maharashtra inaugurated this outreach program over these years through this golden jubilee it had graduated from being an outreach effort to a center and thereafter to the form in which it is present today as an hospital on the joyous occasion it is time to remember with reverence and gratitude the contribution of the founding president of this institution professor tv ramanujim who sowed the seeds for community health care and Dr. V. Subramanian, who strengthened and consolidated all those efforts to reach community health care to the level no less than that of the promotion of fine arts in our sabha, and it was Dr. K. S. Vardhachari, the chief of the medical services, who through two decades strengthened the activities of the medical center, so that in the golden jubilee year when we decided to launch ourselves fully. the firm foundation that he had given to this institution stood us in good stead and in the golden jubilee year the center was fully upgraded with focus on two disciplines of medicine namely eye care and renal care and in the year 2022 at the peak of the pandemic we inaugurated the shanmukananda charitable community health care hospital which is built on an existing property of ours redeveloped and renovated to fit into that of an hospital and the full cost of over 20 crores was funded by contributions from corporates and well meaning individuals who gave 100% of the total cost of that hospital being set up on this occasion we remember with gratitude all those who have made this possible but the greatest redeeming element of this journey of saga of trials and tribulations and the highs and lows of this medical center was the year 2022 23 to 23 24 the golden jubilee year of the sabha it saw several first several peaks and several highs all in a single year as if it is the crowning glory of these 50 years of this institution we had a record of 25033 dialysis procedures which were conducted during the year 2023 24 cumulatively we reached a milestone of crossing 150000 dialysis over the decade and 153129 as it is indicated there was achieved during this period of 10 years 190 patients are being serviced under the dialysis facility of our sabha 91% of the patients 91% of the patients pay us less than rupees 100 
most of them rupees 50 and once you take into fact that they are being provided food services during the session for which they come for dialysis the net revenue to the sabha is nil this is the greatest service that can never be thought of that can be done anywhere in the city so silently so effectively that is being done last year also was the year when we had the highest of subsidy patient subsidy that was given 5.88 crores in a single year which was given for the poor and the weaker sections of the society so that they can afford to have the treatment for the renal impairment or the impairment of the eye that they have for the cataract surgery. More than 900 surgeries were performed in the eye care division of the Sabha with 400 cataract surgeries being done free under the Bahanagar Gas Limited scheme for free surgeries for poor patients. There were other donors too who had pitched in and contributed for free cataract surgery and they were also done during that year. And more than anything else, it was singularly the only year where across the spectrum we had large number of donors who came to us large, small, medium, ordinary individual donors who all saw for themselves the satisfaction of whatever their contribution is, reaching out to the poorest of poor in this part of the city who had a temple where their ailments could be addressed and their sense of well-being can dawn onto them. An activity of this size can never be subsured without the philanthropy of the community around. A cultural institution like the Shanmukhan Sabha can never afford to have such large resources to fund for free services under its health care programs. Several corporates over the years had dipped into their CSR funds and given us large contributions to make this all possible. This is also the year as it is the golden jubilee year of our Sabha's Medical Center, we are also celebrating the centenary of the Mahan Kalakar of our living times, of our living memories, Muhammad Rafi Sahib. He dominated the silver screen for a very long time, for over three decades. He was the eternal voice of light music. And he brought music to bring relief, not only to the ailing community, but all those under depression, all those who needed the soothing impact of light and good music to bring them back to normal life. And as part of the centenary celebration, Rafi Sahib, we had also announced that we shall do free cataract and dialysis for several poor patients under a scheme in honor, memory and remembrance of Muhammad Rafi Sahib. And when we sowed the seeds for such a scheme, we could not realize that it can be done so fast. Thanks to the generous support that has been given by Kotak Mahindra Capital Company Limited, subsidiary of Kotak Mahindra Bank, which came quickly forward and said that we will pitch in. And last year they gave 1.35 crores out of their CSR funds to the Sabha to kickstart the free contract and the dialysis scheme. And during the current year, they have committed themselves to a further contribution of 40 lakhs for dialysis and 20 lakhs for cataract surgery to continue and perpetuate the scheme for Rafi Sahib. But the amount of, the size of contribution that we have received will ensure that just not in the centenary year, but even beyond the centenary year, there will be free cataract and dialysis performed in memory and honor of Rafi Sahib. And this would not have been possible but for uh, Ramesh Srinivasan, the Managing Director and CEO of KMCC Limited, who spearheaded the CSR Initiative Office Bank to ensure that this scheme of ours sees the light of the day. We are thankful to him for his gracious presence this evening. More importantly, his bank has ensured that the glory and the greatness of Rafi Sahib brings smile on the face of poor patients, not just through his music, but also through the treatment that is done in his memory in this institution 
of ours. It would not have been uh, uh, easy for me to say that the problem, the macro problem that the country is facing in relation to health care, what we are doing is just not even scratching a bit of the surface level on the entire surface. If you were to look at cataract, which is the main cause for blindness in this country, 80% of the blindness is occasioned by cataract and other renal impairments which are coming in, which largely remain unaddressed because of poverty in large interlands of the country. About 30 lakh patients undergo, 32 lakh patients undergo cataract surgery every year. If this has not been done, 30 lakh people out of the 30 lakhs would have gone blind every year. So that shows how important cataract surgery is in the national mission of healthcare in the country. But when you look at dialysis, the position is still grim. There are around again 30 lakh patients, 20 lakh patients who are undergoing dialysis currently in the country. Each year we are adding about 2.2 lakh patients to that family of renal impaired CKD patients who need dialysis as the only treatment to keep themselves going. And these 2.2 lakh patients give rise to 3.8 crores of dialysis procedures every year. 3.8 crores of incremental procedures and 30 crores of regular dialysis procedures that have to be done. The country today is in need of almost 40 crore dialysis procedures to be done all across the country to elevate the sufferings of CKD patients. And in the background of that, when you imagine that when we say that we have done some great thing of 25,000 procedures, and that too, which is one of the highest procedures in the country under a single umbrella, you will understand the wide gap between the resources that are available, that the facilities that are in place in this country, and the requirement over the coming years to address this fast-growing ailment in this country. Lifestyle diseases, mainly diabetes and hypertension, India has become the world's capital. The rate at which these two ailments are spreading across the nation thanks to the poor living standards that we have, the poor eating habits that we have, and the stress and the strain of the work that we do to make both hands meet for the family has ensured that the largest cause for dialysis in this country arising from renal impairment comes both from the stress of diabetes and hypertension. We spent about 6.9% of our GDP on our healthcare system. And of this, only 2.1% is spent by the government. The balance of 4.8% comes from the private sector. When you see the yawning gap in the facility that are existing, we need to double our outlay for the government itself so that the poorest of poor in this country will have reasons to smile thanks to the fact that closer to their homes, there are facilities available which will give them some relief. It is in the background of this that the services rendered by a cultural institution like the Shanmukhanan Sabha have to be evaluated. Probably this is the only institution in this city's megapolis which has totally addressed the cost of the poor. The non-poor patients who are coming to us are by accident because they stay close by to us or they find that the facilities are too good for them to reach here better than elsewhere in the country. And I should tell you that all these things would not be possible, again I'm repeating, but for the largest that comes from the purse of the corporates and individuals. Giving is the essence of life. It is indeed the purpose of life. Give we must give, forgive, and then forget. That should be the goal of life. Nothing is too big or nothing is too small. Forgiving. Tembe, tembe, tale saje, we say in Marathi, even little drops of water will make 
द माइटी ओशन वी डोंट नीड बिग लार्ज सम्स ऑफ मनी बट वी नीड लार्ज हार्ट्स इवन ऑफ द पुअर पीपल टू गिव अ फ्रैगमेंट ऑफ वॉट दे प्रोसेस फॉर द कास्ट ऑफ द पुअर इन द कंट्री इन द टूम ऑफ क्रिस्टोवर चेफ मैन दिस इज वॉट इज रिटिन इन इट्स एज वॉट आई गेव आई हैव वॉट आई स्पेंड आई हैड वॉट आई लेफ्ट आई लास्ट बाई नॉट गिविंग अल्टीमेटली यू विल लूज एवरीथिंग इफ यू डोंट गिव द वॉट कम फ्रॉम द सेम डस्ट इन टू विच शैल यू गो सेट द बाइबल ईच वन ऑफ एस वेन द कॉल ऑफ द ऑन्डर कम्स कै नॉट कैरी ए बैगेज अलॉन्ग विथ एस शमशान भूमि पर नहीं ले जा सकते हमारे जितने भी चंपति है अकेले आए हैं अकेले जाएंगे तो देर इज एनफ जस्टिफिकेशन दैट बी शेयर वॉट वी हैव इट्स ओनली बाई शेयरिंग दैट वी कैन केयर एंड द ग्रेटेस्ट एग्जाम्पल दैट वी ऑल सी एवरी मॉर्निंग इज नेचर इट सेल्फ द ग्रेटेस्ट गिवर ऑन दिस एर्थ इज मदर नेचर पिबंदिन नद्य स्वयं एव नब्बा स्वयं न कादंति फलानी वृक्ष नाहम खलु वारिवाह परोपकाराय सदा विभूत रिवर्स डू नॉट ड्रिंक ऑल द वाटर दट दे गिव नदियाँ जितने भी पानी देते हैं वो खुद नहीं लेते हैं हमारे लिए देते हैं पिबंदी नद्य स्वयं एव नब्बा स्वयं न कादंति फलानी वृक्ष पेड़ पौधे जहाँ से फल आते हैं फल वो नहीं खाते हैं हमें देते हैं इट इज़ मेंट फॉर ऑल द बींग्स एनिमल्स एंड मैन एंड द क्लाउड्स दट दे बैर द सीट्स दट गिव द रेन दे डू नॉट टेक अवे ऑल द सीट्स दे गिव द रेन टू अस द वेल्थ ऑफ द नोबल इज फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अस टुडे वेन वी हैव लॉन्च टुडे वी थॉट इज एन ओकेशन फॉर टू पर्पसेस वन इज थैंक्स गिविंग टू ऑल दोज पीपल हु एट साइलेंटली वर्कड बिहाइंड द कर्टन्स to ensure that the purpose for which the community health care center has been started with the sabha gains meaning and relevance if i were to tell you that 20% of the adult population which undergoes dialysis do not survive more than 10 months and here is one center where 25033 procedures have been done without a single fatality behind this record is the sweat the service the determination and the devotion of ordinary workers of this sabha the paramedical staff the medical staff and all those who aid the medical services that are being done so it's an occasion to thank all of them for all that they have achieved during the last year particularly in relation to the dialysis department it's equally so to thank some others in the board of trustees who have augmented the revenue of the sabha and expanded the capacity of the sabha to ensure that uh, we are able to carry on activities like the medical center we thank them too on this occasion and on this joyous occasion we launch the mamad rafi uh, uh, free dialysis and cataract surgery scheme and to do us the honor of launching this scheme we have the entire family of rafi's near and dear ones who are with us today nasreen mira samad the eldest daughter of rafi saheb is with us to launch this scheme and more importantly to honor these 22 dialysis patients who will be first brought under the rafi saheb scheme unlike other activities in public life we inaugurate and then start the activities but in community health care services we first do the services then have a function to launch the scheme that is why even though we had started the scheme in the month of february we are launching it today when it has stabilized and most of the people have availed the benefits of the scheme in the name of this mahan kalakar and nasreen will do the honors of not only inaugurating the scheme but also felicitating all these 21 22 dialysis patients as i come to the end of my address i am sure from the distant world where he is ensconced rafi saheb would be 
watching with delight what is happening in his name he lived for he lived for the cause of the poor because he never used the medium of his music to make money for himself he enriched the ordinary masses of the country and therefore his blessings will renew to this institution and i'm sure in the years ahead we will reach new frontiers of community health care that shall reach to the poorest poor in this country and as we bring smile on the face of every poor patient we can be very sure there are tons of blessings that will reach out to the members of the management and all those who work for this institution thank you and god bless mai sankshipt roop pe aap se batana chahta hu maine is 7 8 minute ya 10 minute pe maine kya kaha tha आज की सभा इसलिए बुलाई गई है कि बिना शुल्क की डायलिसिस और कैटरैक सर्जरी जो उस महान कलाकार के नाम पे हमने सजाया है उसकी शुरुआत आज औपचारिक रूप से कर रहे हैं इसे तो हमने पहले ही शुरू कर दिया है फ्री डायलिसिस स्कीम तो हमारे पास चालू है साहब के नाम पे आज हम शुरू कर रहे हैं उसके लिए पूरे रफ़ी के खानदान यहाँ उपस्थित है उनके जो बच्चे हैं उनके घर वाले हैं वो हमारे साथ है इस अवसर पर इस गड्ढी पर और इन बावीस डायलिसिस मरीजों को उन्हीं के आद आज सत्कार करने वाले हैं और उन महान उस महान कलाकार के नाम से ही इनकी बिना शुल्क की डायलिसिस स्कीम आज से चलेगी और इतनी अनुदान हमें मिली है कोटक महिंद्रा बैंक से कि न शताब्दी महोत्सव के साल उसके पश्चात भी इस स्कीम को हम जारी रखेंगे इन्हीं चंद शब्दों के साथ मैं आपसे विराम लेना चाहता हूं और आज की सभा जारी रहेगी थैंक यू